Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and I'm not sure what's going on out there right now, and, uh, you know, but, uh, my men have informed me that I will be getting my money within the next few days. They are just taking care of one last loose end, and I will get my money. I don't need my money. Humanity needs my money. Okay, but I will have plenty of money for myself. Okay, so, <clears throat> I'm just about ready to say checkmate. Not yet. Uh, as soon as the loose end is tied up and things are a little bit different, I'm not going to get into details, but then I'll say checkmate. And it won't be a win for me. It will be a win for humanity. And to end all this oppression and suffering on earth, you know, you still have to accept Jesus Christ and uh, he'll help you, but uh, at least financially and with food and with other things, your um, humanity will be a lot better off. So, um, <clears throat> and my voice is like this because I have a sore throat and don't worry, I got a sore throat because I have the fan on. It happens every year at the when I start turning the air conditioning on or the fan. And I sleep under it. I slept under the fan. It's a ceiling fan. So I slept under it and my vo and I got a sore throat. So, but uh, that's all I have. I don't have a fever and I still have the cough. And uh, that's just normal. Uh, just a little cough that I have. Um... <clears throat> anyway, but, uh, what else? That's it. I just wanted to say that when I win, when I win completely, it will be a win for humanity. For humanity. Not just for me. And then I also understand that many people are knowing a lot of details about my life and my suffering. And this is true. Many people know what has gone on in your life. But they will forget all the things we don't want them to know. Anyway, and people are very upset about what has happened in your life and why, uh, and, uh, why you suffered so much. <coughs> well, all I can say is that I had to get strong, maybe. Maybe. I didn't have Jesus in my life. I wasn't able to pray for myself. They took Jesus away from me when I was 15. I love Jesus, and I love Roman Catholicism, but they took it away from me when I was 15. And I didn't find my way back until I was in my 40s. <clears throat> I don't even know how old I was when I finally found my way back to Jesus. I did, oh, let me change that just a tiny bit. When I had the second major nervous breakdown, I did turn to Jesus, but not Roman Catholicism. I turned to Roman Catholicism in my 40s, in my 40s, so, late 40s, so, um, yeah, it's been a difficult road, but that doesn't mean people should be upset about it, it's over, it's over, and spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, I'm happy, and I'm, I'm doing fine. Anyway, so yes, I'm doing fine now. I'm very happy and content with my lifestyle. You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what it would be like to have money anymore. I haven't had it in so long. But I also wanted to say that when it was a drastic change for me, when I went from having money to nothing at all, there was a time when I didn't even have pennies to rub. Nothing. Nothing. Not even pennies to rub. Nothing at all. And, uh... 
But, uh, you know, Jesus did provide. Turn to Jesus until I can help you, which will be in a few days. Which will be in a few days. Please don't give up hope. Please don't lose the faith. All right. And on that note, I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right. Bye.